Who's getting that donkey? Oh that donkey. God. That donk, 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 oh donk. God. Donkey of the day right there. <laughs> It's the Breakfast Club, bitches. You can call me the donkey of the day, but like, I mean no harm. Every time I hear Pip Squeak, all I think about is, uh, not Pip Squeak, what was the name of that song? Not Like Us. Every time I hear Not Like Us, all I think about is Kendrick really didn't take kindly to the short jokes. He, <laughs> he really did not take <laughs> no, kindly to being called Pip Squeak. No, Lord like have it. mercy. Mm-mm. Donkey of the day for Thursday, May 9th, goes to New York Governor Kathy Hochul. Okay, Kathy, Kathy, Kathy. Kathy is a Democrat who is being interviewed at a large business conference in California to discuss expanding economic opportunities and artificial intelligence for low-income communities. And she had this to say about young black kids growing up in the Bronx. Let's listen. Governor Kathy Hochul faces criticism for a controversial remark that she made during a business conference. She was highlighting the importance of expanding access to technology and artificial intelligence for low-income families during an onstage interview. Well, the comment she made immediately drew criticism from local political leaders. Listen. Right now we have, you know, young black kids growing up in the Bronx who don't even know what the word a computer is. They, they don't know. They don't know these things. Well, Hochul issuing a statement now walking back on her words saying, I misspoke, I regret it. Of course, black children in the Bronx know what computers are. The problem is that they too often lack access to the technology needed to get on track to high paying jobs in emerging industries like AI. Uh, that was Pix11, too. That was our news source. Salute to Pix11. Now, what does your Uncle Charlotte tell you at least twice a week? I tell you that the craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. Now, kids in the Bronx are crazy, but they're not stupid. Okay, there is a difference between stupid and crazy. Stupid is uh, not knowing what the word computer is. Crazy is Cardi B. But Cardi B is far from stupid, but she's crazy. So it is an insult to the intelligence that exists in the Bronx to say that those kids who come from low income areas don't know what the word computer is. OK, damn, Kathy, Kathy, she said these kids don't know the word computer. She, she didn't say they don't know how to use computers or they don't have access to computers. She said they don't even know what the word computer is. You do realize if they don't know the word computer, that is your fault. It is a failure of elected officials. It is a failure of the system all through New York City because are these schools in low-income areas getting proper funding? Are you investing in these kids' education the way you should? Are the schools up to par? Are teachers being compensated properly? Are these kids eating? Hmm. You know hunger can affect learning, right? When children are hungry, Mm-hmm. They typically have less energy and the ability to focus. So, Governor Hochul, are you doing everything you can to ensure these kids are getting everything they need to be properly educated? How dare you insult these kids uh, by saying they don't even know the word computer? And if they don't know the word, it's the system's fault. Furthermore, how dare you insult these kids in the Bronx and say they don't know the word computer? They have known the word computers since Roddy Rebel dropped that song in 2015. Listen. And these computers. The word computer is mentioned uh, no less than 72 times in that record. And the name of the song is computers, okay? Mm. Prior to that, if you're born in the 1900s like I am, then you know in 2004, Cameron told us that he gets computers putin. Listen, Governor. I get computers putin. Governor Hochul, I bet you didn't know the word putin. OK, <laughs> if you hear the word Putin, you think uh, Putin and, and I'm not talking farts of Vladimir. OK, I'm talking what Cameron gets computers doing. Now, Governor Hochul said she misspoke and I believe her. OK, she cleaned it up and said what she should have said in the beginning, which is the problem is that they too often lack access to the technology needed to get on track to high paying jobs in emerging industries like AI. That's why uh, I've been focused on increasing economic opportunities since day one of my administration and will continue that fight to ensure every New Yorker has a shot at a good paying job, end quote. Well, with all the money that New York is paying taxes, that shouldn't be hard. And this is why so many of us have a problem with taxes. Yes, we pay them, but I need to know that my money is going where it actually needs to go. I did some research and by research, I mean Google on a computer. And we know that funding for public schools in New York City comes from income and corporate taxes, property taxes and sales taxes. 53% comes from New York City, $21 billion. 36% comes from the New York State, 14 billion. 6% 6% comes from federal stimulus funding, $2 billion. 5% comes from other federal funding, $2.1 billion. Governor Hoku, now is the time to remember that actions speak louder than words, okay? 
especially words like computer. $39.1 billion in taxpayer dollars. If you can't create no action with that type of money, there is no action to be created, okay? If you can't provide these kids with everything they need and more to be productive citizens, it is your fault. The money is there. Now make the proper investments. Please give Governor Kathy Hochul the biggest hee uh-huh. uh-huh. But people right. do misspeak all the time. Yes. Okay. I mean. We do it too. Oh, do we? We have examples. I would just have to go all the way out with it. Mm-hmm. Don't pass it to me. Just kiss me and spit it in my mouth. Mm. Oh, what? Where was your this ad? Is, this is not going to be a, 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 a blooper reel of me. But where was your ad? I was <laughs> like, what? Uh, I don't know why you said that. I, we were talking about Young Thug, and this is when the guy oh, tried to oh pass my God. up. Why would you even? Oh. Boy, like, Forget it. Don't even worry about it. What? I like Lil D. <laughs> oh my goodness! I wasn't talking about little D as little D. I was uh, forget it. Yeah. Any more? Hoes, why do you want more of yeah, that? Do you need more? I'm just asking. <laughs> I think you had enough, you little freaky ass thing. Yeah, he's a strict nine god. <laughs> you, 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 you've had enough. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. You yo. know what? <laughs> Forget your donkey. All right. Donkey today is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to michaelthebull.com. That's michaelthebull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.